Hi there, my name is Peter. And my name is Callum. And today we're going to be painting in layers under and over. What you're going to need is a pencil, some scissors, some sponges, some poster paint, some candles, some water and a thick brush and a piece of paper to work on. So, first, you're going to need to get a candle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some wavy lines to make a C effect. Okay, and you what? need to make sure that you push down really hard. Okay, I'll try. And there's a problem. The problem is you can't see what you're working on until you add the paint. Now, the reason we call this painting in layers is because there's three layers. It's this is like layer, a sandwich. This is layer one. And we're about to do layer two now. So what you want to do is with your thick sponge, put it in your water, right? And what you're going to do is just water it so that it's easier for when you actually use the colours that you're going to be using. So right now you still can't really see your lines, but they start to show up once you use your... Paint. Make sure you get the page soaking and keep on wetting your brush. Okay. Next, I'm going to do some colours. Now, I'm making a C effect, which means I think I'm going to start with blue. And down at the bottom of the C, it's very dark blue. So I'm going to start with a nice, rich, dark blue. and just painting it all the way down, just go over. And now you will start to see the lines that you did with the candle, if you've pressed down hard enough. Remember, if you haven't pressed down hard enough, you can always start again. I'll probably be doing this before my lunch, so that when I come back, I can do the rest of the sandwich. So, how many layers have we done? This is our second layer. We second quite layer. Finished it yet. Oh, I thought we were almost finished. But still got one more layer to go. So I think I'm gonna do a green because there's seaweed mixes in. Why and don't you add a bit of blue to the green? So a blue a green. 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 That'll and you be, can do that will be a bit of a darky. Maybe teal kind of colour ready. Ooh. Interesting. So you're just building up your page. Making sure that you've done hard enough with your candle or it won't show up as well. So the reason that the wax shows up is because it's paint resistant. I'm going for a light blue now because we're getting near the top of our sea. This is a nice flowing blue. I think my last colour is going to have to be a green and I think I'm going to go for a light green. Oh, you mean like a kind of limey one? Yeah, something that will look amazing. That's a good idea. Just at the top. Yeah. So as you can see, it's kind of mixed together my blue and my teal green. This is what you want. But you could do it any type you like. So there, you could do like a sky one, which you'd be using maybe black and um, maybe white or something. So you can see all of our lines that have been faded in together. Okay? How does that look? Well, I'd say it's time for lunch. So would I. So I'm going to put this over to dry. So I, as I said, we've doing this before lunch, so it's probably easier. And then always clean up after yourself. 
And that was a really good lunch. Right, so we need to do the third layer of our picture now. Oh yes. So what you're going to need is some stencils to put on your picture. So you, because we're doing a sea effect, you might want to do seaweed, you could do a fish shape, it's up to you what you do, it's your choice. So what you want to do is draw a sea, I think, seaweed? Okay. Yes. So I'm just going to do a nice wavy line. And this is going to go at the bottom of our picture. Our drawings don't have to be perfect because, well, nobody's going to comment on the drawings. No, I'm just going to cut out a box for it because I think that'll be much easier. Now, the way you cut it out is you can fold it and then just do a little snip. Nip. And then you can unfold it and you have like a small hole which you can put your scissors into and you can cut away. So, what you're going to do is this will go, this will be your third layer of your sandwich. And basically it's going to be such an easy one to finish off your picture. So I'm just going to cut this out. Will I go and see our picture? Yes. Aha. So it's turned out perfectly. <coughs> and what we want to happen... Would you like to do this bit? Okay. Yes. So there's our stencil. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our sponge. Now, you do not want to soak it in so much water you just want to really just make it damp so squeeze it just squeeze it just squeeze it as hard as you can to make sure that all the water's out you just need it to be damp let me feel that's it that's probably just right so what colour is seaweed? Green. Okay. So you could do any colour you like. Like, seaweed's kind of like a plant in the sea, so it could be any colour you like. Kind I think of. I might have a mix between green, yellow and black. Big mix. It's up to you. Okay, and next what you want to do is place it. I think we'll put it on the blue side. Yes. And we'll make this the bottom. And you want to make sure that that's it. You might want a friend to help hold it. We're going to dab it. Just dab it in. Just right. And again, because it's just a bit of paint, it will, you'll still have your lines of your wax. And all you need to do is dab it. And take it off. And you have a bit of seaweed. We'll do another one? Yes. Get a bit more paint. So it's up to you because seaweed can be different shapes and sizes. So you can cut a different shape or like what we're doing, you can just use the same shape over and over again. I think again. we'll have a lighter bit of seaweed now. A lighter bit of seaweed? Yeah. Make sure you get just everywhere so that you're dabbing it. You don't need to paint it or anything. Just make sure that you're dabbing it. Okay, so look. We've put some seaweed in, but we could be putting many more things in, like fish. We could make a fish shape. Or you could use any other shape that you have. So it's up to you what you choose. Remember... Once you've done this, you can keep your stencils for other, for other um, uses. So you can use this again any time you like. But you can make other ones, as Callum said, diamonds or a star or an S shape. So now it's your turn to try. We've added on some fish to our picture. And if you were doing a C one, it could be 
many different colors. We've made ours black, but also we have half them so that we've got a black, one, black and green one mixed together. Also, our friends have made some ideas too.